Hola everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my canal, or if this is your first time here, hi, I'm Edgar, and today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Lunar Beauty Spring Summer Launches. So we are going to be looking at the new glosses along with the new Moon Prism palette. This is, I believe, aside from like the Moon Prism highlighters, this is going to be the second complexion product for Lunar Beauty. So I'm really excited to have my hands on all four items today. We're gonna to be doing swatches of everything as well as trying everything on my face. As you can see, <laughs> don't point it out, don't point it out. <laughs> I know I look a little yellow. I've been looking like a little minion, like a little Simpson realness. My skin is looking so snatched from all the skincare I'm doing right now during quarantine, but this foundation color ain't it. I know, please don't remind me in the comments. I will be going back to my usual on-camera foundation cause this ain't it. It really ain't it. By the way, I hope all of you guys are healthy and are staying safe during this pandemic. It's going on much longer than I personally anticipated it to go on for. It's getting it's getting a little overwhelming for me at this point. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I've literally been locked up in my house unless I absolutely have to go out for some necessities. I leave my house, but other than that, I've been staying home. But if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe, click the little notification bell down below. Give me a big thumbs up if you guys enjoy the video and leave me your comments, questions, and concerns down in the comments below. I love constructive criticism. I love hearing your feedback. What do you think about the video? What do you think about the blushes, the product? Let me know. Even if you just want to say hi, leave a comment down below. So yeah, let's get into the Lunar Beauty Spring Summer 20 launch. All right, so like I mentioned in the beginning, I have my base on. I was gonna film like another video after this, so that's why I have a really light brow highlight. So yeah, today we're looking at the Lunar Beauty Spring Summer 2020 launches. I have reviewed Lunar Beauty on my channel here before. I think the last thing I did was the Halloween palette. I don't know, what was it called? No, I totally can't remember off the top of my head what it was called, but Lunar Beauty Spellbook palette. It was sickening. I love the purple. All the colors were amazing. Another Lunar Beauty product that I reviewed is the Life's a Drag palette, which to this day is still one of my favorite palettes ever. It has the neutrals, the pops of color, big mirror, large in charge, feels good, all that good stuff. And I honestly, I'm gonna keep it real with all y'all. No, I keep it 200 always here on my channel. I didn't think I was gonna, well, like I literally did not think I was gonna get this collection, these products. A couple months back, two, three months back, I reviewed the collaboration that Manny had with another brand and that was, I was not feeling that. It was not performing well. I honestly kind of felt a little bad after I reviewed that. I contemplated on even taking the video down, but, but you know, I came to the conclusion that sometimes products are going to be over the top, amazing to the moon and back. And sometimes they're not gonna be it. And I feel like transparency, honesty is the best policy here, regardless if I get sent product, regardless if I buy product. I always just gotta keep it real. I just wanted to mention that because in that video, I did mention that I've tried Lunar Beauty before and it had not let me down. Brands sometimes don't like to hear, even if it's constructive criticism, some brands don't like to hear it these days. I've been taking off PR lists for speaking my mind, for keeping it real. It is what it is, but we got Lunar Beauty today. So here is just like a little info card that I got sent. We have Manny with a model, products on the back. So let me actually just show y'all real quick, up close and personal. The main big zaddy is the Moon Prism Blush Cheek palette. Here's what the Unicarden looks like. I really do like this packaging. It has, is this holographic? Yeah, it's like a slight holographic with little holographic dots. I did watch Manny's reveal video. It looks pretty, but it definitely pops more in person than it does on camera. Now here is the blush palette itself. There's just a lot of nice little details. It also is raised. So these little moons right here that you see, they are all textured. This is a really nice color story. I'm definitely feeling the light pastels. And opening it up, we do have our plastic protector, which I love. We have a mirror with Lunar Beauty, and then here are the blushes. Now these blushes, both on the Lunar Beauty website, along with Manny's reveal video, did look a lot lighter. Here in person, they are a lot more rich, a lot more saturated, especially the gravity shade. I feel like the gravity blush looks almost like a deep peach, whereas in person, it's almost like a, a sand. Like I could almost use this as a bronzer color, I feel like, or not, maybe, maybe. 
Five out of these are matte, and then we do have Soleil, which is a little bit more of a, can y'all see that? It has a little bit more of a sheen to it. So here are the glosses. Again, just like I mentioned with the packaging for the blush, you can't really appreciate the detail on camera, but in person, they are really pretty. There's different textures to it. There's different finishes on here. I do really enjoy this little detail inside of the Unicart, and once you open it, we have like little intergalactic stars so that's really pretty here are the glosses you can see there is a pretty neutral really soft and fresh color story for these as far as pricing the blush palette is retailing for $35 the glosses are retailing for $17 each so I'm going to go ahead and swatch the blush palette along with the lip glosses if you guys have watched my reviews before you know I don't believe in swatches particularly with eyeshadow palettes I just think that eyeshadow swatches can be a little deceiving sometimes as for complexion products i can definitely appreciate them because you're able to see it like for the blushes you're able to see a true saturation if you were to build them up how deep and how rich can the colors get um you know you also definitely do get an idea for the texture and the finish i'm also of course going to be trying both products on my face so that'll be right after the swatches i'm going to be using my finger for these manny did already do swatches on his video with brushes i'm just going to literally just take my finger go around a few times and swatch away so the first one that i'm swatching is pink moon and that has a really pretty payoff i'm gonna go ahead and do two swatches just so we can really get a feel for the color and i'm gonna go in, ooh, with twilight i just rewatched the twilight series oh okay okay wow okay so this one love 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 and by the way i'm going in with different fingers don't think i'm using the same one now i'm going in with spacey this one's a little bit more of a spicy, a little bit more of a mauve color. Okay. These feel really, really silky and I'm not like pressing or anything. My finger is just gliding right on my arm. Now I'm going to go ahead and swatch gravity for y'all. Okay. Oh yeah. This is definitely going to be able to pass as more of a bronze, not necessarily like a straight up bronzer. It'll be able to give you more warmth if you really need it. Now I'm going in with stargaze. Okay, so Stargaze is a little bit more like a true pink. It's like a little bit rosy, I would say. Now let's go into Soleil, which is the only one that has a different finish from the other ones. This has more of a, oh yeah. This has a little bit of a shimmer reflex to it. So here are the swatches, really, really pretty. Again, I don't think, like colors definitely never show up how they do in person and on camera, but these are absolutely gorgeous. Twilight, Spacey, and Stargaze are the ones I can see me using the most. Now let me go ahead and, so now let me go ahead and swatch the glosses. For the glosses, we have a really nice large and in charge wand. Y'all know I'm a man, Mori. I got a big face, I got juicy lips, so I definitely do appreciate a big nice wand here are the lip gloss swatches this is moon this is starlight and then this is celine and i'm gonna bring y'all a little bit closer so we can go ahead and start applying it on my face i'm also going to go into the eyes just to see kind of how they build all right so here we are a lot more up close and personal so we are going to start off with blushes my go-to blush brush is this one right here it's the makeup shack t28 you can see it's all busted super dirty i just think that a dirty blush brush is the best blush brush probably not the most hygienic not the most uh clean i want to get like a really true application i'm going to be going in with something that's clean you can see a recurring theme here for my blush brushes i do like these that are a little bit more slanted um i just think this one's a little too big so i'm gonna go in with this one that's a little bit more precise i think i'm gonna go in to twilight here i like my blush more like up here and then just a little bit on the forehead down the nose and like you know typical areas so i'm going in with twilight so no twilight a little bit of twilight let me go in with a little bit more i usually pack on a lot of blush okay yeah oh 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 this is so pretty actually wow so now we can really see that color coming through with that second layer of blush and it's also really complementary to my skin tone. It's not too peach, but it's also not too pink. I think it's a fairly neutral blush that'll work with a lot of skin tones. So let me go ahead and do the same over here. 
first layer for a light wash and then a little bit more for a nice pop come on peach is this peach or is this coral what is it described as on the website bright coral orange in a matte finish mm -hmm. and i'm gonna do a switch of that down the bridge of the nose on the forehead a little bit on the chin now what should i add in i'm gonna mix in a little bit of stargaze and a touch just a touch of pink moon and i'm gonna do that a little bit more kind of right here on the cheek not too much so these blushes are really pigmented but they're also blending out really nice where i place the blush isn't where it's sticking like it stick down but you're also able to blend it out and soften it out so it doesn't have any harsh edges so blendability is good pigment is good now as far as texture because it is matte i didn't really expect it to accentuate any of my problematic skin yeah the texture isn't being accentuated because we do have a little bit more of a matte formula i'm gonna go in with a smaller brush now and i want to test out soleil i'm still gonna go in with a highlighter if this doesn't make like enough of a pop but i just want to see what soleil looks like because it is a different formula Ooh, okay so this is light enough to work on me as a highlighter actually obviously now because it, this does have a little bit of a reflex you will see a little more texture compared to the matte blushes yeah, this definitely works as a highlighter i think for someone that's lighter than me it probably won't work it'll actually show up as a blush but if you are like a medium to tan skin tone this will definitely work as like a soft highlight like what i'm doing right now i could even get away with popping a little bit of this up here just to give an overall nice glow. Okay, so just for funsies, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a soft monochromatic wash on my eyes. I'm just gonna do a little bit of the concealer that I cleaned up with. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer in the shade 01. And then just lightly blend that out. I'm gonna go in with Twilight with a fluffy shadow brush. I'm just gonna pack this in the shape of my crease. So I'm just putting this all throughout my crease. So I'm not getting any patchiness or anything. It's packing on quite nice. And y'all know I like to wing out my shadow. So I'm gonna give this a little flare, a little flick here on the outer area. All right, now with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm gonna mix Pink Moon with a touch of Stargaze. And just right along the edge of that, I'm gonna kind of just soften the edges. When using the blushes on my eyes, I'm not noticing any fallout, like literally none. So what that pretty much means is that there is a good amount of binder to pigment ratio. So these aren't powdery or anything. Y'all know some blushes can tend to just go poof, even when they're in compact form like this. With me just going in and swirling it all over, I'm not getting any fallout. So that's a really good sign. I'm gonna go in with Spacey, pack that onto the lid. I'm requiring more than one layer to kind of really get a true color, but I don't really mind having to build up. So I haven't had a chance to try Gravity. It's definitely more on the warmer, deeper side. It's the darkest out of all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and smoke out my lower lash line. All right, so this is also really cute. It's like a like a spicy brown shade is what I would describe it as. I can see myself using this on a big fluffy brush, just putting it through the crease and calling it a day. So now let me just take my pinky and I'm gonna go in with Soleil, which is a more shimmery one. I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. And I should say that while this is rose gold, it's definitely more on the pinkier side. So here's what my eyes look like using only the blush palette. I used every single shadow, every single, I keep saying shadow, oh my God. Every single blush in the palette is on my eyes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of mascara, some false lashes, maybe eyeliner, I don't know, something like in the waterline and I'll be right back so we can check out the lip glosses. Okay guys, I'm back. I went ahead and did a little bit of a wing, put on some Batty B lip lashes a little bit of white on the inner corner and that's pretty much it so i'm just doing a little bit of mac fix plus and then i'm going in with some artist couture illuminati highlighter which oh, by the way i have an artist couture discount code now discount code edgar and you guys can get a discount code on everything on the artist couture website 
This is what I meant about the blush either being used as a soft highlight or as like a base for my actual highlight. And then with the slightest bit of Twilight and Stargaze, just touching up this area. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do lips now. Manny did mention that the glosses are best over a lipstick or a lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is the House Laboratories Rule Lip Liner. All right, so there is the Rule Liner applied. I did like the outline and I did like a slight ombre onto the lip. Now I'm going to be testing out Moon and Starlight glosses because I know Celine is not new. A lot of people already do love this. Uh, they smell. <sighs> they smell so good. Oh, I love this color. Do y'all see that? Oh, so juicy. My voice is kind of juicy. <laughs> So this has like the finest, like super little finely, you can barely tell. Like the finest little sparkles in it, which I love. Cause sometimes I want to do like a more sparkly gloss, but I don't want it to look like I have sparkles in it. So this is kind of like the right medium. It's also a really gorgeous color on me. I can see myself wearing this for sure. Let me pop on a little bit of moon. Typically would not wear glosses this light, but All right, so there are my lips. Now let's get to what I think about this collection. All right, so you guys saw pretty much every single product in this collection, all of the blushes, all of the glosses except Celine. What do you think about these products? Four different shades on my cheeks is what I used. And then I went in and did my entire eyes with it as well, which I am obsessed with. I haven't done anything simple like this in a good minute. I have no patchiness, no skipping, no fallout. So definitely a positive experience both on my face and on my eyes. And as far as the glosses y'all saw, I did put them over the lip liner. I think Starlight on its own. Gorge. Now, would I recommend these products to y'all? Absolutely. This was a really Pleasant, easy experience. I had no troubles. So yeah, definitely pick this up if you guys are interested. I've noticed that Manny puts in a lot of detail work. Like he hasn't had too many launches, but in the time that he has put out launches, I can definitely see the thought from A to Z. I can see he's definitely all about the little, little details. Y'all know there's a lot of products out on the market these days and the little details are really what count. It's pretty much my review for today. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below did you guys pick this up i'm assuming a lot of people picked this up because it sold out pretty freaking quick on today which is like the launch date it sold out right away um so let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this any other questions comments concerns leave them down in the comments below i love chatting with y'all interacting especially in this pandemic where there's like a very limited things that i could do and if you guys are not following me all over social media i am at edgar's makeup on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, everywhere on the internet. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the notification bell, all that good stuff. Yeah, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.